Rollo in the Philippines writes to me and he says, hey Paul, this is Rollo from the Philippines. Well, there you go. <laughs> I always watch your videos every single day. Thank you, sir. Uh, and my wife reacts to it daily as well by saying, him again? <laughs> Since we share the same space uh, when watching my YouTube videos, she can't help but watch and hear your shows daily as well. Sounds like she's a loving it, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Um, I've been waiting for your book to be available in our country for now. Uh, you can, by the way, Rollo, it, it is available. We'll ship it to pretty much any country. Just go to uh, psaudio.com and click on the Hi5 family. Or is it? No, it's in products. That's right. Uh, it's in accessories, I believe. Yeah. So go to products, accessories, and then you'll find the book. And uh, I'll be happy to sign it for you and ship it out to the Philippines. No problem. Um, anyway, I'd like to ask a question regarding room acoustics and speaker placements. After watching hundreds of your videos, <laughs> I've gone crazy. <laughs> I've learned that we shouldn't be placing the speaker too near to the wall to avoid issues with the sound. That's right. Bass frequencies will build up, etc. Will it help if I completely cover my back wall with an all acoustic panel instead? Or should I just partially cover it to still allow some of that sound to bounce off the back wall? Thanks again for your videos. My wife already promised that she'll buy the book for me once it's available. <laughs> well, tell her it's available. She can get it right now. All right. Thanks, Rollo. Um, I get it. I am very much against rear wall absorption. I, I'm just not a fan of it. So it, as you're listening to my voice right now, you can hear that even in this room, it's slightly live because we don't want an overdamped room. But specifically, and when Rollo says the, the rear wall, boy, I have arguments about this all the time. Generally, the rear wall is actually referred to as the front wall because you're facing that. So where that big PS Audio logo is, that's technically the front wall because you're looking at it, but I'm with you. I, I, I think of it as the rear wall because it's the wall to the rear of the speakers. Whatever we want to call it, <laughs> I like this wall to either have diffusers or nothing. And here, we got nothing. It's just a plain wall. But every speaker, every room is different. And I've got a nice space between here. And in this space is where the sound stage is built and lives, okay? Because as we remember, everything we hear from these speakers, even though they're projecting forward, should sound like it's coming from behind the speaker. And this is where this illusion of the soundstage appears. And this is where uh, a singer should come behind the loudspeaker. And to do that, it's a combination of, well, it's a combination of a lot of things. You got to get the electronics right, you got to get the speakers right, set up, big deal, get the audiophiles guide, and it'll help you set up, you know everything that you need. I know, everybody's all mad. He keep talking about your book. Well, eh, it does help. I mean, so far we've helped thousands of audiophiles. So anyway, uh, but this area back here is something that I think um, is very important to keep live or at least only diffused, okay? And diffusers, you know, we know what those are. Those, uh, we have panels on the sidewall, which I'll show you uh, in another video and all. So, yeah, so the answer to your question is do not absorb the rear wall. We want those reflections. And if you can move your speakers out a bit, do it. Absolutely do it. Now, sidewalls are different. The sidewalls, we can have absorbers. We can have diffusers or absorbers. No problem. But not on the rear wall or the front wall. Okay. Thanks for the question, Rollo. I'll talk to you later.